Today is April the 3rd, 2024. This is Carmen bringing you your daily Bloodborne Remaster update. There's no news on a Bloodborne Remaster today, uh, but I did miss something that happened yesterday, I believe. And shout out to Madness Plays TV. He told me this in the comments, and you know, let me go ahead and report this. So, Bloodborne Cart got an update yesterday, pretty much just showing that it has been revamped. Uh, because uh, I'm pretty sure they were about to get hit with the cease and desist from Papa Sony. And more or less, it's the same thing, except some of the names are just slightly changed, as he told me. Mikolash is now, is now named like Nicholas. The big cage on his head, the men's cage, is now a bird cage. It's very much still Bloodborne, but it's like, you know, like, like, we, like we have Bloodborne at home type thing. Uh, so, pretty cool. Uh, let's see any gaming news to go over. I think I mentioned KOTOR isn't dead yesterday. I believe I remember saying that. Uh, I saw more gameplay for the Final Fantasy 16 DLC today. I'm pretty sure it was old gameplay, but I hadn't seen it. So uh, it looked really good. Even me, uh, me being a crazy hater, I can't take anything away from 16's DLC. This, this DLC looks great. Um, let's see, there was a few other things I wanted to mention today. But I feel like I am blanking on it oh yeah uh marvel cast uh what, what was her name it was a uh, it was a blonde woman as the silver surfer and i questioned this decision to ca to cast uh a female as you know the silver surfer it's just it's just it's just strange to go with an actress for that role uh but i mean i guess we kind of sh should have seen this coming there was going to be a gender bend somewhere in here and i i guess if there was any if there was anyone to gender bend silver surfer is probably the most like the most benign one to do because it's not like silver surfer's got much going for him anyway uh okay anything else other than stellar blade still being you know fussed about forever uh just scroll through twitter the final fantasy 16 collab came to ff14 and supposedly that's really good i have not checked that out myself because i don't play final fantasy 14 um it's like we're just we're flipping through twitter right here to see if there was anything i missed um twitter is also trying to say you know like and i agree with this we need more short games we need a lot less long games problem with this is these short games are still going to be sold for 70 dollars you know spider-man 2 i may not have really liked the game and it was extremely short but like the big issue i had with that was that it was a 10-hour game that was sold for 70 dollars <laughs> like it, sell me that game for 40 or 50 dollars i'll buy it gladly which somehow that game's budget was 300 million dollars i don't know how a game that is 60 percent the same as the first is 300 million dollars <laughs> i have no idea but uh anyways i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here there is no news on a bloodborne remaster today that's been your daily bloodborne remaster update for uh april not march april the 3rd 2024